good afternoon to everyone and welcome to today's session. Lord Krishna has told in Gita that uh, there is one thing that is inevitable. For everybody who is born, death is inevitable. For all the people who died, birth is inevitable. But he forgot to tell one more thing. For all the people who pass MBBS from APA, MD entrance, APPG is also inevitable. So the time has come, notification is blown out and uh, not much of long waiting. March 2nd is uh, 60 days. Even today you become a good boy or a good girl. You have a chance of winning next 60 days. But let me also tell you, doctor, if you read very well all these days, last 60 days, if you unnecessarily say that you are anxious, you are unhappy, you are depressed, artificial feelings which didn't exist in human psyche, you will be destroying and liquidating. So there's a reason, the next 60 days, holding your breath, and uh, consolidating your preparation and getting ready for the battle is all about the preparation let me be honest with you so the next 15 tests every sunday and wednesday we will have a storming session and uh, almost every day evening we have a free mcq session for three hours whenever you are bored whenever you are in a low mood uh, just log into online mbbs.com and you have some MCQ session going on every day evening, you can request for a free user ID and password from our helpline. So let us make the great beginning. We welcome the students of Kakinada, uh, Tirupati, Guntur, Vijayawada, Vizag and today we also have students from Chennai and Bangalore and uh, everyone. Let us make the great beginning. <coughs> Is a voice clear for the online students? You have given the mic for you to pronounce the answer. You got the mic? Please forward the mic. Huh? Yeah. So what is the root value of the phrenic nerve, doctor? Without a root value, there is no APPG or any AIPG. So there's a reason. C345 is what you need to remember. And uh, muscular cutaneous nerve is 567. Allah nerve is C8. And T1, lower part of the brachial plexus is what you need to remember. Short head of the biceps femoris. What is the nerve supply, doctor? Question number two. Please give one emphatic right or wrong answer. Doesn't matter. Please uh, give uh, to our guys. Ram Krishna will be our chairman, ex uh, officio. Huh? Please, please. Are Ram Krishna, Sharat will take over the mic. If you don't have courage to lift the sword, where is the point in going to battle, doctor? Come on, somebody volunteer to give answers so that uh, we will have some second uh, opinion and uh, huh? we'll have uh, a argumentative session that is all about uh, interactive session. So it is a common peroneal nerve is what you need to remember. And the long head is supplied by the tibial part of the sciatic nerve is what I want to underscore to all of you. How about the pancreatic duct? Where will it open into doctor? Second part. Very good. Second part of the duodenum. And uh, the left suprarenal vein. Left renal. Very good. Into the left renal vein. <coughs> Ophthalmic artery passes to the optic canal. These are all very standard easy questions. Then, uh, but you should not forget one of the very high yield issue for the examiner superior inferior orbital canal what are the contents that pass any entrance you go standard question now doctor i want to every sunday mock test i want to remind you 20 to 25 high yield topics of every subject already we have given the list of the high yield topics those who did not receive please uh, ask your center manager to receive it or you leave your email ID, we will send a PDF downloadable document. Shoot an answer for this. A short quiz. 
it is not there in the paper i am just trying to ask you what is not the feature of kimmelstein wilson's disease volunteer your answer doctor extempore you like to say c you mean hyalinization of efferent arteriole is your opinion any other opinion ram krishna also thinks c please ask our online asha is proposing thickened basement membrane tara and harika are also proposing thickened basement membrane as except any other answer yes doctor kimmel steen wilson itself is not jeller glomerulosclerosis there is thickening but where are the deposits anybody will give a correct answer i am trying to see even shiva also says thickened basement membrane sub epithelial glomerular deposits are not the feature of the kimmelstein wilson okay doctor so what is my intention to tell you what is the first high yield topic in pathology glomerulonephritis you will remember me in exam hall without a question on glomerulonephritis neither appg nor murali bharadwaj exist so be very sure to review this okay what is the resting membrane potential of sodium muscle cell c minus 70 70 to 90 or 50 to 70 rmp resting membrane potential <laughs> basically the visceral smooth muscle is minus 50 millivolts the average uh, resting membrane potential another very common question it is not sodium ion it is the potassium ion which decides the resting membrane potential is what you need to remember what is wrong about saltatory conduction ha huh? shoot an answer a that's right it is a myelinated fibers with nodes of renvia where you have the saltatory conduction epsps and ipsps what is your answer d b for boy d d d for doctor hyperpolarization is not the feature rather depolarization is the feature is what we need to remember and uh, excitatory transmitters open the sodium and calcium channels is what we need to remember resistance is inversely related to ohm's law diameter diameter it is inversely related to diameter so thicker the nerve fiber faster the conduction because of the lower the resistance and faster the current life span of the rbc is how much 120 days it is 120 days now i want to shoot a extempore quiz question to you shoot your uh, honest extempore answer what is true about lymphocytes nims exam is all about fastly reading the question nims it you are going to take in february right all case study based questions ultimately are you able to read all the questions or not is all about reading speed is important yeah what is your answer c looks convincing huh ram krishna thinks what is the answer ram krishna quickly the quiz question b neha is proposing c huh b b you want to say lymphocytes only leave the blood at sites of inflammation you want to say let's see very good b lymphocytes the response to the antigens in the extracellular fluid is what you need to remember once more to remind you what is the second high yield topic in pathology inflammation without that there is no paper if you did this wrong you need to reflect yourself how well you have read now let's go to the next question is there any video audio lag just check online uh, um is there any video video is okay here okay here all right all right if there is any video audio lag please uh, punch into the uh, chat window okay how is carbohydrate stored doc glycogen. glycogen to make you feel happy about the paper what is the antioxidant all eh? all all sure okay 
we need to revise this answer it should be all that is right. Which blotting technique does not exist? Eastern. There is no Eastern or uh, Southeast Asian. PCR for all. I think this time biochemistry is too flaccid. Now, uh, strand of DNA is called template, no big deal. Okay. Now, rectal biopsy. What is the best method? Rectal biopsy. So, we want to tell you once more. The third high yield topic in pathology will be amyloidosis, which you need to be quite sure before you go to the exam. So, every subject we have arranged in the descending order around 60 topics. You do not get time all 60 topics, at least 30 topics you study. The 5 questions or 6 questions in pathology that come in ultimate APPG or AIPG or any exam will come from the top 30 at least. That is our uh, minimum guarantee. Uh, minimum seat guarantee program. Eh? Even that also if you cannot read uh, 60 days is too much of time. You can go on walk around the globe in 60 days. Eh? Now, which is not an RNA virus? B. B. No, hepatitis B is what? DNA. DNA virus. That is very, very important. Bacteria introduction to multiplication. Lag. Is basically called the lag phase. It will take some time to start preparation after entering housemanship. That is the lag phase that it will be having. But uh, sterols in a cell wall, mycoplasma. mycoplasma, mycoplasma, lack a rigid cell wall, and uh, it has got a triple A unit membrane that contains the sterols. What is this called as, Doctor? What appearance it is called? Fried egg, Fried egg appearance is what you need to basically remember. <coughs> Where will you see fried egg appearance opposite the medical college? Jipmer, if you go now, opposite the Jipmer gate uh, in Pondicherry, at least if you do not write entrance very well, eat the roti and come back. And uh, you get a beer very cheap, which is uh, uh, excise free. So, ultimately, uh, in our days, uh, you have gone to Jipman, what you have done? I have seen a beach, I had a beer and uh, I had a uh, roti opposite Jipman gate. Forget about who gets seat, who will not get. Used to be a saying among the MD entrance aspirants when they go to Jipman Pondi exam. I think now it is in Chennai also they conduct it, right? Bangalore also. Hyderabad also? Bangalore also. Bangalore, okay. Bangalore. But all exams, let me tell you, doctor, there is no specific preparation, let me tell you. There is nothing like a specific preparation. All exams, once you are done with the high yield topic list, 1191 topics I give, at least 600 out of them you prepare and go. You will surely get the seat, any entrance. Which organism lead to Wien's disease, doctor? Icterohemorrhagica. Surrounding medium, if the genetic material comes, what do you basically call it as? Transformation. B. You basically call it as? transformation which is not a feature of botulism diarrhea. unlike the other cases of food poisoning diarrhea diarrhea is not a feature very good then uh, i want to ask you a question apoptosis is triggered by what give an extempore answer huh c fast ligand fast ligation yes. right so what is the next high yield topic? Number 4, apoptosis in pathology, without that there is no paper. What is a long standing enocyte? It is the pyroxicam which has got a half life of about 57 hours is what you need to remember. What is analgesic with moderate anti-inflammatory property? Which one it is? Ketorolac. It sir, is the ketorolac is what you need to remember. Sir, need explanation sir. Huh? There is nothing to explain why sun is hot. <laughs> it is a natural property of, uh, I mean to say, it is a natural property of the drug uh, nafis. Huh? Nimesulide also has anti-inflammatory. What? Which one? Nimesulide B. Nimesulide. Only paracetamol. No, it need to have. See, it should satisfy both the statements. 
analgesic and anti-inflammatory action. I leave to you in the literature about each of these drugs, uh, what each of them are, what is uh, missing and what is, uh, what are they having. Just review that. Eh? Good. <laughs> INH is, what are the dose related side effect? Hepatotox. Hepatotox. Any other answer you are thinking? Uh, uh, slow acetylators have neurotoxicity, but fast acetylators have hepatotoxicity. And both type of acetylators have hepatotoxicity. Only thing is, it is more common in which type of acetylators is the question. Huh? Now, let us go to the next question. Diuretic of choice. Thiazide. Basically, it is the thiazide. So, you must know, once more in diuretics, mechanism of action, side effects, which lead to hypercalcuria, which lead to hypocalcuria between thiazides and fruzamide. Without that, there is no paper. Thiazides is stamped topic in the okay. entrance exam, doctor. This last 60 days or 8 weeks of time, only if it is worth high yield in nature, then only read. Do not read for knowledge, for God's sake. Never read for knowledge, actually speaking. <laughs> knowledge comes by practicing medicine. Practicing medicine, doctor. Yesterday we had one patient who is a 72 year old, Mr. Komarelli from Varangal. Very well preserved human being. All his grandchildren settled everything. He is very happy. He is a patient to us for the past 20 years. He is found to have a renal mass. Found to have a renal mass. He is otherwise asymptomatic. Any mass lesion imagologically in an individual above 60 unless proven otherwise is a renal cell carcinoma. A renal cell carcinoma will liquidate a person within 4 to 5 months if it is not operated. To operate him, he has got a triple vessel disease. So, with a triple vessel disease, no anesthetist will dare to anesthetize. But if you correct the triple vessel disease with CABG, you need to wait for another <coughs> period of time. So, ultimately, it is all clinical decisions when you practice. Reading about renal cell carcinoma will not bring you any knowledge what to do. At that real time, when patient of real cell carcinoma is there, anyway you need to read and uh, decide and uh, know what are the guidelines. Next uh, 8 weeks, quickly, all very high yield areas, 5 6 points, 5 6 points, grab it, go to exam, you will do wonders, let me tell you. Forget about your past life and past janma, what you have done till now, everybody is equal. From now, until the finish line, how you run is all important, doctor. Now, let us take a drug of choice for acnomycosis. Penicillin. Penicillin, Alexander Fleming will be happy in his graveyard, which is not used in renal failure. Cephaloridin. So, you must be quite sure. Yes. Ceftriaxone, cefaclid, cefperazone. Can be used. Among the cephalosporins, you can give safely in renal failure. Doxycycline, you can give safely in renal failure. And pefloxacin also safe is what need to be remembered. Now, doctor, shoot an answer. 60 year old with headache Multiple. and anemia. Investigation shows IgM paraprotein. What is the likely diagnosis? You tell this and tell that you are uh, good in the topic. D. D, D sir. D. D. Lymphoplasmocytic lymphoma. Superb. Why there is headache, doctor? Hyperviscosity Viscous. has led to that. Huh? So, it is a lymphoplasmocytic lymphoma. So, what is the topic 5 Sir? high yield in nature? Sir? Lymphoma is what you need Sir, to read. If multiple yeah. myeloma is given in that, there will be time. If the multiple myeloma is given in that, headache is not a feature. Headache is all. Bone pain? No, I mean to say hyperviscosity is less likely. In uh, case of the Valden's, uh, in the case of the multiple myeloma, compared to that of hmm. Valden's form, macroglobulinemia. So that's the reason uh, anemia, bone pain, elderly person, reversal of the albumin globulin ratio. These are all the features of uh, multiple myeloma. Yeah. TNF. 
Who secretes it, doctor? Macrophage. Uh, yeah. Please help out uh, Swati and Raghav have an issue with the uh, online video. Uh, online video, just check why they have a problem. Uh, by whom? TNF? Macrophages. Macrophages. Activated macrophages. And dish cause and? Macrophage. Macrophage. Are basically macrophages. So, you must know what is LE cell, TOT cell, Langhan cell. Don't remember about glitter and jitter. They won't ask in exam. All useless fancy things which are printed in the study material. We also print a lot of useless fancy material in the study material. Use it like a non-reusable condom. <laughs> Explanatory booklet. <laughs> Let me tell you. Because uh, it's of no use. What you can really meaningfully remember, logically remember, which is frequently asked, only those things you need to. You did not run uh, and uh, don't defeat your brain. Don't tell your brain, you are a useless brain, you won't remember anything. If you tell, where will it remember? You will tell it. Ah, you are a super duper brain. My body is lazy, mind is sharp is what you need to tell. So, then it will remember. Okay. Some, everything requires incentive, doctor. Plasma cell is? B cells. B cells. It is basically B cell. That's good. Most common government afraid is Seto. IGN. IGN. Did you not think membranous or PSGN? I PSGN you thought? No, membranous I thought so. Oh, Old I wide thought wide. you will think like that. <laughs> so, IgA nephropathy doctor, don't forget. Worldwide. What is the one single statement in exam you will remember about IgA nephropathy? A young individual presenting with recurrent benign hematuria. Grass image. A young individual presenting with recurrent benign hematuria. Grass image. He had an upper respiratory infection. Within yes. 48 hours, he found hematuria. Hmm. That is the typical history of IgA nephropathy. What are the three words you will remember? Benign recurrent hematuria. And it does not stay forever, that hematuria. It will be only for a few days and it will be going, vanishing. Hence called benign. But it will be recurring. That is the nature. What is the difference between PSG and hematuria versus IgA yeah. nephropathy? PSG and after 6 to 8 weeks. Excellent. So, sympharyngitic hematuria. You will have pharyngitis, immediately you will have hematuria, then you call it as? IgA. IgA nephropathy. After few weeks, you call it as PSGN. That's what you need to remember. Now, doctor, which is not a feature of neoplasia? D. D. Nuclear. Sir. So, nuclear cytoplasmic ratio will approach 1 is to 1, is what you need to remember. Aflatoxin. Liver. Typically, the liver malignancy. Liver. Okay, doctor. One quiz question. Shoot an answer. Which is a true statement about arterial blood pressure? Give a correct answer. Arterial blood pressure. Yeah? I am very happy. Nearly 52 plus viewers online with another few more hundreds um, across the country. Yeah. What is your answer? You like to say? D, that's right. It is because of what? Arterial resistance, not capillary resistance. So, what is the high yield topic number 6? Hypertension in pathology. Everything you must know. Pathophysiology of hypertension, essential secondary causes of hypertension. What is benign and malignant hypertension? What is flea bitten kidney? Everything on hypertension. Now, doctor. IPC, which section is grievous injury? 320. This is another dirty part of forensic. <laughs> Which sections, why do you need to remember, doctor? <laughs> do you want to do all those crimes? <laughs> is the question. But for entrance, you need to. If you are forgetting, in spite of reading sections, don't panic. Forgetting is the most wonderful boon God has given. Otherwise, every day life is full of insults. So, we need to remember everything is difficult, no? Huh? But still, Try your best, what all that you can do. 375 rape, 376 punishment of rape, 320 is grievous hurt like uh, Kausalya, Supraja, Rama. In the morning when you wake up, uh, you have no option. At least few things to remember. Which bullet disintegrates into fragments Frangible. on hitting Frang the target? Frangible. Frangible. 
frangible frangible those disintegrates on hitting the target so what is record take what is yawning what is stumbling what is tandem what is piggy back piggy bullet everything you must know now what is the rate of cooling of e. body after you lost entrance exam 0.6 centigrade per hour yeah 0.6 to 0.7 degree celsius per hour another dirty easy to forget question don't worry about if you are forgetting what is lucid interval where do you see extradural extradural extra extradural which is arterial subdural which is venous subarachnoid which is associated with the excruciating headache you should not forget now doctor trichology is hair hair very good now uh, give me an answer another quiz question 12 year old member of family with the history of renal disease alport you are all experts now you can smell where is alport <laughs> but real alport comes to your opd ha ah, if you recognize i can bet it it will be ninth wonder of the world <laughs> <laughs> are you yourself suffering from alport also you won't recognize <laughs> so very good so what is the high yield topic number 7 which is a favorite topic in pathology nephrotic syndrome what are the causes minimal change disease histopathology everything in pathology you must review today what is the division of study of subjects into case and controls randomization is basically called randomization ha huh? very good very good doubt is it not matching that's the point is in matching basically what we do in matching is suppose you are taking the uh, controls you will uh, see that all controls will have except the point of under study all remaining factors similar to that of the cases that is what you are doing in matching as such you are dividing the people into those who receive treatment those who do not receive these are the people who are uh, diseased and undiseased that is what you are doing in randomization Study group is the one which has got the cases. Uh, okay, uh, it looks a reasonable point. No, it's a question of selecting controls. The process of selecting controls says that the um, what factors, confounding factors, do not creep in, is then called matching. So, what is a sensitive test, doctor? B, true positive. Sensitive test? Highly true positive. True positive is sensitive. True negative is specific. That's good. Vertebrate animals to the man. What do you call it as? Zoonosis. Zoonosis, like rabies, plague, etc. Hold the method. Coxiella. Coxi. Coxiella bernicii. What does it lead to? Nafis. Pneumonia. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, okay. Wha Q what fever. is? Q, Q fever. fever. Ah, good, good. Ah, uh, so there is Coxiella. Coxiella is resistant to pasteurization. Now, doctor, first case introduced is called primary. Primary is basically called as primary case. Fifty percent of the disease. Mean incubation mm. period. Is median incubation period. Loss of anatomical structure and function is called. impairment handicap ha huh? impairment sir impairment impairment versus handicap what is the difference even a person whose leg is broken can still participate in marathon then he is no more handicapped even a person whose leg is working can't walk handicap that is a true handicap without impairment so we must be quite sure impairment is only the last or abnormality of psychological and physiological or anatomical structure but uh, uh, handicap is whenever it is affecting his role in the society then that becomes a handicap a ant like mother is stronger than elephant like father <laughs> because there are families where a drunken father and a working mother ultimately make their children become great eh? 
So one of our uh, uh, nurses in uh, AMC used to say, why are you sad sister Mary? A drunkard husband and uh, two daughters and, a, and uh, two sons uh, ultimately all need to depend on her uh, this thing. So she is not handicapped but she had a marital impairment because of a nonsense husband. So that's the uh, difference between handicap and uh, loss of foot is impairment, cannot walk, is disability, unemployed, is handicap. Should an answer doctor, a newborn is noted to have a bulky abdominal tumor, tumor has been resected, it is showing rosettes, then what is a feature that is associated with the poor prognosis of this tumor? Enmic gene. A. You like to say? A. A. Enmic amplification? Yes. Poorer prognosis, you want to say? What tumor comes to your mind, doctor? Neuroblastoma. Neuroblastoma. Very good. Any other alternative answer? So you must know what are the good and bad prognostic features of neuroblastoma. Let's see. Asha and Akshara are proposing N mic amplification. That's right. So what is the uh, topic number eight high yield in pathology, doctor? Tumor markers is what you need to be 100 percent sure. So it is not a bacterial zoonosis? Rabies, viral. Rabies is viral. viral. Don't accuse me. What sir, stupid questions and your nonsense Sunday paper. <laughs> Ultimate exam will be more or less like this. If I give some super duper questions and try to squeeze your brain, I am failing in doing the job. Until notification comes, we are tough. After notification, until exam, we want to be Similar like as morons complex. as examiner. <laughs> we do not want to be super intellectual, unnecessarily defeat your confidence. That is the idea. Actual entrance also will be like this only. Take it as my word. But 30, 40 questions will be super sonic. You must be uh, correct in hitting the bullseye. Huh? Now, doctor, let us ask an next. Mala N is? Combined pill. Combined pill, which has got ethanyl, estradiol, and norethisterone, you must know the dosages also. Which is a barrier? C Contraception. Spermicidal, Spermicidal jelly. jelly. Spermicidal jelly. Posters which are continuous and gives an idea about a subject is called as MD entrance coaching campaign. Yeah, what is your answer? Huh? Flip chart. That's right. Flip chart is all those series of charts, each which is associated with an illustration pertaining to the talk. Flannel graph is a piece of cardi fixed to a wooden board, provides a background for displaying the graphs, etc. Now, which is under the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare? Beautiful question. Not midday meal. Midday mid meal. Mid 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 so, Kaise khana, kitna khana, what is inside for me is the typical thing in government projects. So, uh, who ultimately feeds us doctor? Family and uh, health and family welfare, um, basically uh, what is the education uh, program ministry of education is the one who takes care of uh, uh, what we eat in the afternoon in the schools. Now, let us go to the next question. What is the structure of hepatitis B? What is false statement? Shoot an answer. Quickly read and who will give me the correct answer first? A out of the way question. Which is the false statement C, about C, the hepatitis C, B? C, C, sir. C, you want to say? Hepatitis B. E antigen is not a derivative of core antigen, that is right. Huh? Sorry, you said C. Anything else? Any other answer? It is a derivative of core antigen. It is not 20 nm, but it is the Dan particle which is 42 nanometers, is the point about it. So, what is the high yield topic number 9 in pathology, doctor? Hepatitis, one of the viruses, HBV, HCV, HAV, which is RNA, which is DNA, how do they replicate, what is the serology, everything you must be smashing. 
Now, doctor, celiac disease, what do you accept about extraintestinal features? Osteoporosis. Osteoporosis. Osteoporosis, you want to say vitamin D is not affected if the celiac disease affects the um, fat absorbing part of the GIT, fat soluble vitamins get affected. Our egg bag below. Vitamin E, so ataxia will be there. Vitamin what B is not there? Aspect you don't want to accept. Uh, Sir, B12 will be affected. You know, it is not ataxia will be there, osteoporosis will be there. Our kuch bolo. B12. If you are given a choice. <coughs> Question number 51. Srinivas, Neha, Harika, everyone thinks it as D. And Sudhir is thinking megaloblastic anemia. One loud clap for Sudhir. Please give a B clap, doctor. B clap. It is the iron deficiency anemia. Because which part of the GIT is affected by the celiac disease, doctor? Diodinum, jejunum, these areas, not ileum. That's the reason. There is a iron deficiency anemia resistant to the iron therapy is a classical feature which you need to remember. Which enzyme requires NADPH and molecular oxygen? I think no idiotic questions in general medicine this time. Yeah. <laughs> Give an answer. Huh? Sonali, what is your answer? B. That's right. Microsomal ethanol oxidizing system is the one and remember ethanol poisoning is one of the favorite issues for the examiner especially in a country like us where people may not have food to eat but they have a drink to drink so alcohol is very common now hepatic encephalopathy is another disgusting question classification of hepatic encephalopathy some of you are going to be medical gastroenterologists doing liver transplants yeah give me an answer कुछ गैस मारो? D. हाँ? D. B. D है? B. D. The worst level you want to choose. B. But there is no intrinsic means. There must be some other part where there is intrinsic. That is D. So it may not be the final judgment. I'm giving a crude way of elimination. So it is type B. हाँ? Type B. So type B is portosystemic bypass and no intrinsic. Hepatocellular disease. C means associated with cirrhosis is what need to be remembered. Beautiful question, doctor. I am waiting for this question. 17. 17 hydroxylase. When will you get uh, ambiguous genitalia? 21 11. If there is any excess amount of androgen, androgen or estrogen, you will get. But where is 17 alpha hydroxylase is involved, doctor? To convert pregnenolone or progesterone towards cortisol and uh, sex steroids. If it is not there, no sex steroids. No sex steroids, no ambiguous genitalia. What will you have? All that will be excessively leading to formation of aldosterone, which will retain salt and lead to development of hypertension, is the presenting feature. Testicular feminization syndrome, congenital adrenal hyperplasia. Beautiful topics in endocrinology. Without that, there is no paper. You have to review at any cost. Uh, this is a this is a pure gas which is definitely going to go wrong. Arthralgia. I heard arthralgia. Somebody said fatigue. None of us have seen hemato hemochromatosis patient fatigue. till now. Fatigue, sir. Fatigue. Huh? fatigue. Pure gas. Fatigue. Severe fatigue. fatigue. Severe fatigue. fatigue. Who is having a second mic? Ah, good. I am happy, Ramakrishna, you are uh, sonorous, androgenic voice. People love to listen across the country. So, do not uh, miss that high bass tone. Eh? Um, yeah. Now, let us go to the next question. What is the CD marker for myeloid series? Give a confident answer. 117. 117. 117? Oh, very good. Now, you are... Uh, Page to page, line to line on CD markers. That should be the spirit. What is the next high yield topic, doctor? Topic number 10, CD markers. Without that, there is no paper. Please go through the high yield topic booklet that we have given. Complete androgen insensitivity D. syndrome. What is the except? D. 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 That's right. 
most of the cases are not with any ambiguous genitalia and in insensitivity may they will present sometime with inguinal masses undescended testis remaining in the inguinal canal like an inguinal mass they present the, what is the karyotype of androgen insensitivity syndrome xy is the karyotype but still why do they develop breast because peripheral area because hydration. all the testosterone which is unable to act on receptors convert into estrogen little estrogen is there whether you are xy xx or triple x or xxy doesn't matter breast will develop so that's what need to be remembered now doctor diabetes insipidus and sadh yes sir a two crucial topics in general medicine without that if examiner set paper means he did not consider the power of general medicine what is your answer a very good akshara asha and harika everyone is saying a that's good so what happens in diabetes insipidus water is lost or retained lost lost, lost. that will dilute the urine concentrate the plasma plasma what is wrong about hyperthyroidism weakness affects typically proximal muscles proximal Proxima. myopathy is what you come across sir are the tremors uh, coarse or fine in hyperthyroidism sir are they coarse or uh, fine tremors fine. sir what is your uh, i need to also check huh? as far as i remember but for essential tremor in most of the scenarios it is all fine tremor but anyway we'll uh, recheck that i insanism will we be able to actually see the tremor in that's what in hepatic encephalopathy you can see the tremor in uh, but fine and the course are not decided whether you can see or not see both can be seen but uh, how finely you can see how coarsely you can see that's the only difference eh? <laughs> so all right regarding hepatitis b infection what is the true statement doc false sir ha huh? false statement sir false that's right c like a medical gastroenterologist give your opinion c sir c sir these days telbiudin is the drug of choice sir ha huh? these days telbiudin is the drug of choice for hepatitis tenofovir tenofovir is currently what is being used so not first you should line, the point here is first line if you take uh, lamivudine or uh, telbiudin telbiudin is currently drug of choice not the first line not the first line for the treatment of hepatitis b interferon alpha interferon alpha and tenofovir are more often used uh, in the modern practice but they keep changing what is wrong about leprosy doctor is it clofazamine or rifampicin who is the raja it is the rifampicin most powerful bactericidal agent sir treatment of multivascular leprosy 12 months no sir the protocols uh, of posi and maldi i leave it uh, with you uh, once more indian leprologists versus international leprologists there is a difference between the two you you need to review the literature should an answer for this uh, question on oncogenes if you remove the phosphorylation site of the rb protein retinoblastoma protein what is going to happen cycle would get shorter you want to say cycle would be faster so shorter or uh, uh, shorter you want to say a any other choice b you want to propose beautiful that is the cell cycle would be blocked in g1, g1. most important thing topic number 11 which is a high yield topic in pathology is tumor suppressor genes everything rb gene who is the policeman p53 who is the gatekeeper everything you have to remember in the genome eh lac regime of h pylori what is it not include azithromycin ha azithromycin azithromycin that's right so lansoprazole amoxicillin clebithromycin is the lac regime is what need to remember what is the oak omeprazole in the oak regime non shiga like toxin as as with hus a yes sir e coli you want to say or streptococcus pneumoniae which is shiga like which is non shiga like 
Shigar like toxin associated HUS versus non Shigar toxin HUS. Uh, the differences I leave to you in the literature who is uh, mainly responsible. 70 percent of Shigar like toxin associated HUS are due to E. coli O157 H7 and uh, Streptococcus pneumonia is 40 percent of all causes of non shiga toxin associated HUS. They are the two different entities. HUS is one of the high yield topic in general medicine. So, we discuss this in our online video library. If you do not get time to read, all high yield topics which I am mentioned are available in the online video library. You can just go click, listen, whichever lecture you want. If you are a faster reader than listener, better read the topic, whichever. PNH, what is except? Hematuria. Huh? Hematuria. There is no hematuria. Hemolytic anemia, pancytopenia, thrombosis are the classical All features. Are present. Generally, a patient of PNH when he comes to the OPD, what will you expect, doctor? Only anemia. Instead of anemia, I mean, in addition to anemia, if he is also having thrombocytopenia, leukopenia, you should always order a bone marrow biopsy because a plastic anemia is one of the risk factors in the patients who are having the PNH. So, if the plastic anemia develops, pancytopenia develops, there he will not only have anemia but also infection. leukopenia, infection, thrombocytopenia, etc., etc. Most common antecedent hematological state leading to AML is Myelodysplastic. Just like cervical dysplasia precedes cervical cancer, myelodysplasia precedes myeloid cancer. Now, doctor, what is wrong about the management of CML is my question to all of you. C. So, I am very happy to see about 55 plus viewers online. So, what is wrong about it? C. 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 B or C? C, C sir. B. C. 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 Ram Krishna's opinion is C. Nafi. C. Uh, uh? C. Imatinib is the drug of choice. Uh? Typically, hydroxyurea, it lead to myelosuppression, hmm. but it will never be persistent myelosuppression. It is a very, very benign drug, hydroxyurea. Then uh, uh, all the remaining statements are true. Sir, drug of choice is also interferon, sir. C, option C. Option C. Interferon alpha, it was the treatment of choice, especially for those who are too old for the BMT or those who do not have a matched bone marrow donor, etc., etc. Is what need to be okay. This is a beautiful question, doctor. You answer this, I will straight get a passport to heaven being your teacher. Mitochondrial, Are you all want to send me to heaven? Very confident about mitochondrial inheritance. Why did you think mitochondrial? Sir, answer is there, sir. Written there. Where is the answer? Oh, <laughs> sorry, it was there. Uh, sorry, we did not remove. Huh? Let me tell you doctor, one question with pedigree, if, if it is all in the IMD entrance, because you have a computer screen there, we do not know, AP also may give some images, if it gives do not faint in exam, oh this is unacceptable, <laughs> I want to go to court of law, you cannot say in the exam hall, right. So, both males and females are affected. From only one thing, first thing you have to check for, considering to consider mitochondrial. It is the female to her offspring. Every time it is the female to offspring. Whenever male got affected, he could not transmit it. Is the second important feature. And uh, if the male is having a trait and his wife is not having it, the children are free from it because mom is free, dad is only affected. Right? So that is how you conclude it as mitochondria. All four types, doctor, are the dominant receive, excellent dominant receive and uh, pedigrees, what conditions follow which pattern? 
the most high yield topic number 12 in pathology is inheritance pattern robin's pathology is a very fat book don't try to read it how much time you have to available to think about pathology before uh, the next 8 weeks one day at most two days so in this two days the top 30 topics into three pages in pathology 100 pages in pathology textbook you will smash the ultimate exam let me tell you only 30 topics into three pages in textbook 90 pages you read for me doctor if you don't answer all six questions out of six correctly i will be responsible huh eh? so focus is all that we need to do and my job is to bring all that uh, loss of focus right now what is wrong about brain stem stroke doctor b weber benedict not nagel without clod without that there is no paper chalo what is your answer b d sir d sir you like to say d weber no hypoglossal no hypoglossal or not in all hypoglossal or not in all ha d d hypoglossal both b and d b is there but uh, b and d is uh right b and d both sir uh, d was there uh, with uh, o oh, it was also okay d also need to be considered yes, hmm? okay now cord equina and conus medullaris which is lmn type which is umn type umn is conus medullaris lmn equina equina is lmn conus is umn umn babinski is in babinski umn in case of the conus, conus medullaris and asymmetrical radiculopathy like features are feature of equina equina and all differences between conus and corda you have to sit with one of the best friend or a dumbest friend whoever <laughs> both are useful actually during preparation one will listen one will make you listen uh there are topics which you will learn only by discussing with a friend one of such topic is conus and corda okay doc i leave to you the literature uh maybe this session is too short to explain all that asymmetric reflexic paraplegia is a feature of lmn nature of the equina. corda equina not conus which is a umn type right now uh what is wrong about hsv encephalitis doc hsv encephalitis b uh, c huh b, c you want to say c yeah. it is not cowdery b but cowdery a, a. easy checkmate in the exam hall huh but there is one disgusting list which is cowdry a cowdry b i never understood what is that list but we read that list yellow fever and herpes a ha yellow fever the list are like that ha huh? they will uh, 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 bring a reeling sensation but you need to read what are the intracytoplasmic which are intranuclear which are isnophilic which are basophilic which is cowdry a <laughs> nothing to do with intelligence now doctor let's take up the next question digoxin without digoxin there is no paper c. what's your answer c that's right it increases the automaticity and it will cause av nodal conduction to become d rate it blocks the av nodal conduction <coughs> favorite question quinidine uh, is the one which is associated with toxicity eh? all these things what is wrong about hocm doctor a most most common presenting symptom will be death huh no no uh, please sudden please. death will be the most common presenting symptom w what is that doctor sudden death sudden death is the most common presenting symptom no no for the causes of the sudden death no sir Su for the causes of sudden death hocm and mvp are implicated but uh, no sudden death is not the most common if you take 100 people of hocm aha uh -huh. 80 people will you will know only after they died sudden death you kill so many <laughs> <laughs> eh? no doctor no no be careful while reading the english of davidson and harrison ha eh? okay 
give an alternative answer c huh? c it is not systolic dysfunction it is not the inability of the heart to pump alone it is the inability of the heart to fill that's the main issue huh sir a and c sir no 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 way doctor yes, no you we we, want, we don't want people to kill that fast <laughs> let dyspnea come let the chest pain come let the syncope come still he didn't come to you then we want him to go to athletics and die in the football court that is the there's a long uh, list eh? now let's take up the next question doctor ah should a confident answer least useful for diagnosis of reinfarction what is your answer troponin t huh troponin t it will remain elevated for 10 days it remain typically elevated for 10 days uh two weeks almost 14 days so what is the next high yield topic doctor in pathology My topic God. number 13 mi you have to read when will scar forms in the infarcted tissue when will neutrophils infiltrate into infarcted tissue everything you must smash huh eh? now what is wrong about constrictive pericarditis give some confident answer ram krishna b huh eh? b b b you want to say yeah jvp how do you want to examine basically if you happen to examine the jvp in a supine position you may wrongly make a diagnosis that he has elevated jvp when you lie down automatically blood will walk into the jugular vein and it will hence you incline the bed 45 degrees and then do the jvp assessment now doctor what is wrong about milrinone namrinone d d d sir d that's right milrinone can very much be used along with beta blocker what is the important adverse effect of milrinone or any inotropic agent tachycardia it may induce tachycardia it can induce so we will be giving a beta blocker to prevent a myocardial oxygen demand so milrinone how it is better than dobutamine or any other agent milrinone has lesser tachycardia lesser mod Michael oxygen demanding effect compared to the other inotropes. You can give it very much with bit blocker. Bit blocker. Now, doctor, what is wrong about NS mitral stenosis? Give a confident answer. B. B. Low ram. Low low murmur. You like to say? B. Low pitch. Ram. High amplitude. Hence, what will you use? Bell or diaphragm? Bell. Bell. there is pan systolic murmur of mr is low amplitude high pitched hence you will use diaphragm early diastolic murmur of the aortic regurgitation is low amplitude high pitched hence also you will use the diaphragm and uh, all these sounds are very important uh, what, what else why not option d regarding mitral stenosis second heart sound is normally split why it should be a wide split or narrow split it is not a aortic stenosis it is a mitral stenosis right huh? or if it is mr i can agree suppose there is mitral regurgitation what will happen when the left ventricle is filling into aorta some amount it is losing into atrium so both jaldi aortic valve band ho jate because of that split will widen right that's important now doctor what is the except about tarsidis defined as hypermagnesemia hypermagnesemia hyper magnesemia magnesemia is not a feature but hypokalemia hypomagnesemia etc etc two minutes we will be out of video